morning everyone I just wanted to bring you into a little bit of our reality of life um, I don't know if I can turn this camera around but I want to show you what it's like when you're dealing with someone that's had a brain aneurysm that's ruptured and it's affected their right frontal lobe so this morning I posted a picture of Robert on the floor and he's actually still on the floor a couple of reasons one because he has to learn okay he's not injured in any way shape or form and he's just laying on the floor but he got himself out of the bed his legs are not strong enough yet so he I doubt he fell but he probably ended up setting himself down and then just laid down okay I don't know for sure he's not hurt I'm gonna turn this camera around and I'm gonna show you what he does if I can there we go okay so this is his bed this is his lift therapy told me yesterday to keep it low enough to where he can use it um, as like a what's that called not bench presses but you know uh, I can't think of the word right now I'm still not really awake okay so last time he's done this before this is the second time when I came in he woke me up out of a dead sleep came in he maneuvered his legs over the bar because I had this actually sitting the lift this part actually sitting in the center of the bed so he literally picked his legs up over that bar and got out of the bed somehow this time I left it open he maneuvered himself into the middle of the bed set up and ended up right there okay now he's been griping at me all morning and Y'all may think this is cruel and unusual punishment, but I'm going to show you what I have to go through, okay, and what he has to go through to get him back up, and him laying on the floor without, and he's not hurt, is something that therapy advised me, you know, when he does stuff like this, if he's not hurt, leave him there, it's not hurting him, okay, if it was hurting him, it would be different, but it's not hurting him tough love you know he's got to learn that brain has got to wake up it's got to function he's got to think about what he's doing and right now he's not really thinking before he does okay so we've got to work on working the brain and getting the thought process to work and if the way it was explained to me yesterday they give a, a brain injury patient three to six months to heal for their brain to heal okay he doesn't have much time for his brain to completely heal it's almost to the end of that so he needs to really work hard and he thinks I'm being mean to him he thinks I'm being cruel he cusses at me calls me names tells me I'm sorry tells me you know I don't care about him and everything else that's not true that is not true if I didn't care about him he wouldn't be in my house at all he'd be in a nursing home right now okay anyway let me set this camera up and I'm going to show y'all what we go through to get him up off the floor over here I want it to fall off okay. so what we have to do is we got this thing right here okay has to go under him so Robert has got to turn And we put it under him as far as we can on one side.
All right, now you gotta come back. Now he's got to go to the other side. You're not gonna have anything to grab onto, Robert. <laughs> so, let me help. Roll as best you can. Now this takes a lot on my part too. This is not all him. Okay. No, 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 stay there. No. Your hands. Lift up a little bit. And over. Right there. Right there. Right there. Then, we got to position the Hoya lift over him. And this is going to be kind of hard to do because of the fact he's got his legs all the way out. Robert, you're going to have to pull your legs up. you got to come up with this one some more. got to. I know it's hard. I know. Hold tight. He gets mad at me because I have to do what I have to do. Which is understandable. But, I do tell him it's unacceptable. And that he needs to stop. I don't tolerate it. I can't tolerate it. If I do, then he's going to keep doing it. <laughs> so, if any of y'all want to report my live or report my video, go right on ahead. I'm doing as instructed. And this is part of Robert's journey. And it's something for him to actually look back on. Is one of the reasons I'm doing it. We're doing it. And also to bring awareness to other people that are going through the same situation. I'm, I feel like that Robert and I are going to eventually go back and look at some of these and laugh about them in the near future. Hmm. He doesn't think so right now, and that's understandable. But, I believe, I believe whether he does or not. Okay, we're not far enough in. This leg has got to come up, Robert. Just lay him on the lift like that. Now they're going to slide out when I push forward. So hold on. Keep your legs up there. Just keep them up there. Keep them up there. Move this strap. It's about to go right over a sore on the bottom of my left cap. Left cap. No, you ain't got a sore on your left cap. And I can't go any further. So, that is going to have to be the extent of it. I'm going to have to make this work. And what you're going to have to do is cooperate. Because you're going to have to sit up some to get in the lift right. Not yet. Wait. Wait. To get on the, in the lift right so we can get you in the wheelchair, you have got to. But let me get all this up first. See, he's being good now, okay? And it's because he knows I'm trying to help him. But when I left him here so he would think and learn from it, he was upset with me. I understand. And I tried to explain to him and he wasn't hearing it. You know, it's just like our children. We have to show tough love sometimes and we have to be stern and we have to say, no, and you know, it. this is not easy. If you have to go through this, I really feel for you. I have compassion for you because this is not easy. It's not easy on me. 
it's not easy on him. And it's not easy on our family. Okay. So, mister, pull yourself up so I can get this on the sling. Try using both hands, please. There we go. Stay there. Alright, alright. Hold on, I can't do two things at once. I gotta attach the other side. We gotta get all this attached. And you're not in it right. Hold your weight up or I'm gonna hurt myself. I mean, you really be up shit screwed for that battle. Ready? All right. Whew. Breathe. I gotta breathe. You breathe. Make sure all this is right. Whew. Don't get in the way. Let's try to pull them out to the side some because we're going to straddle the bar for a minute. No, maybe not. It's going to slide you right up. This is how I got that sword. I've got to have. All right, we'll look at it. The hierarchy gave me that sword. All right. Here we go. Here we go, mister. Now I need that pillow, as you can see. No, you're fine. My knees are now touching. You're keeping it, Robert, pull them apart. See? You can do it yourself. See, he doesn't realize <laughs> the things he can do for himself. That's another thing. I'm going to unhook this. So hold on. So you got to tell him, you know, Robert, you can do it. <coughs> Boy, how are you? Hello, young Mister. What's up, young Mister? He was just on the floor again. No Hopefully baby. the sky. I heard. No biggie. Sky ain't coming down yet, is it? It is, but uh, I can't tell you. I can't tell you about that. They told me not to tell you. They're mean. They're being mean. They don't want me to tell you. The sky's falling. You hear me? Chicken little hold, hold your head. Just hold your wings. Chicken Little. You know what I'm saying about Chicken Little, right? You know what I'm saying about Chicken Little? Yeah, she ran around the circle screaming, the sky is falling. <laughs> the sky is falling, the sky is falling. And you know what happened, right? The sky fell on Did you know that? Eventually it did, yes. Yeah. Then she wasn't able to yell at no more. Right. Well, be careful what you holler. Well, they're making it happen. Yeah. Be careful what you ask for. That's right. Be very yeah. careful what you ask for. May happen. You may not like the results. Happy. Look at me. Hey, all you chicken little people. Are we ready? Fine, sir. All right. Your butt's going to go in the wheelchair. Hopefully it is. It is. Perfect shot. Look at that. Look at that. Watch your head. Can't look at it. 
I don't have the time. I got this head that's attached by a neck. Yeah, you do. I hope your head's attached by a neck or you'd be in really bad shape. Not much of a neck. It's got a skinny thread. I still don't understand why they took that monitor out of here. That ultrasound. However, you're not in the hospital anymore. You're at home. That's why you're going through this right now. And it's a learning deal. You gotta learn. That's got, got to learn, buddy. Doesn't mean I don't love you. I'm doing it because I do love you. Yeah, what you know about it, no, no, I love you too, even though you're a jerk. That's just my husband. By the way, I'm on live, in case you didn't know. It doesn't matter. You can't be seen. Only he can. Alright, let's unwrap this. It's under your arm and everything. There you go. Let's lay this here for right now. All right, I'm moving the bar, so get your face back. You can put your feet on the floor now. And you're as free as you're gonna be. You come out of that chair, and I'm tearing your bottom up. I'm blistering it, do you hear me? Mister, oh. all right, you guys. So we're gonna go eat some breakfast. Love y'all. I can end this. Can I get my robe?